to try to do a baby CRT video. And I think I've figured out the wiring on this thing. I'm running it off 12 volts here. And uh, as you can see, we've got a picture. I might have to turn the brightness down so that you can see it on here. It's going to be tough with one hand, but give me a, give me a second here. Let me do that, and uh, now you can't see it at all. It's going to eat this battery up pretty quick, so anyway. It's a round one, and it's playing out of my DVD player over there. I've got it, um, a signal going into it. Can you see it? Looks like a commercial of some sort. And it's reversed because it goes through an eyepiece. This thing actually gets pretty warm. It gets pretty bright too. It's getting warm in my hands. I don't know what the DVD player is doing. There it goes. Man, I'm sorry guys. It's struggling here to get to focus. There we go. Let me turn out the lights. So I'm just using this. I got a bunch of jumpers I'm running. Um, uh, I just figured I'd start with nine volts. I didn't want to burn it up because I kind of like this thing. It has a, uh, I just messed around with the wiring on it. Didn't look it up, you know, of course. Just, uh, you know, anybody of y'all could do it. But uh, Let's see what we got here. It's on. I think, I think it's my girl's Golden Girls CD, so... Uh, DVD it's pretty bright but there is the tiny CRT working it, it looks like the tracking's off but it's a DVD player so I don't know how that could be gosh I wish I could magnify it somehow I can't get any closer than that it actually gets kind of warm running it says warning high voltage let me hit play and see what happens over here or skip or something but uh man this is just too cool i think i've had it for a while i haven't had it running yet but uh it's got a decent picture on it <laughs> um let's see if we can see the filaments in there I'm probably not gonna be it oh that thing's really oh yeah i'm shorting out the um board on the bottom that's not good anyway Look at there. It says high voltage on it. Isn't that weird? It can't be enough to hurt you, that little guy. Let me move some of this crap here and I'll show you. What. So, this is it. That's the TV there. I don't see any filament or heater in there at all. Oh, wait a minute. No. No, I don't. It must be just very, very, very minuscule. Let's check and see if our 9-volt battery that's driving everything is getting warm. Not at all. Hmm. I think that thing only is running like 8 volts. I wonder if I were to run it off my ATX power supply, if that would make it any better or better picture. I bet you'd be brighter. Anyway, that's the coolest thing in the world, man. It's, uh, Golden Girls. I guess that's about a three-quarter inch picture there. Well, you see my fingernail. Whoever thought they could actually make real CRTs the size of a fingernail? I mean, look at that. I just cannot get any closer to focus for you. Without a magnifying glass, maybe. But uh, here's the uh, whole thing here. Um, that is a read switch for something. I don't remember what it was for. That is the record indicator. I left those on there. And that is my video composite in and the negative and then the hot and cold or the you know your b plus so that's all it's running it let's see it doesn't hum i don't hear any hum out of the uh the flyback there <laughs> <clears throat> but thought you might like to see this thing running i said i was going to do it for a while now and this deflecting deflection coil does get a little bit warm. It's strange. You'd think that battery would be drilling or running down like crazy, but uh, 
can't even hold still. But there you go. I cannot get any closer. Very cool, man. <clears throat> and it looks like you can adjust your convergence there. It might just be the mat. Um, it's Japanese. Yeah. M. I've never seen that symbol before. I don't know who's making this. But it is a real CRT there. It looks like, I don't know, it's got a plastic sleeve there. This is glass. And the phosphor covers the whole round thing there. But I don't know. Looks like the... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I just used, uh, I just guessed. I mean, of course, of course, yellow is going to be a video. And then I didn't know what the other one was. So I just guessed on, um, what is that, red? I know brown, and then this is the LED. So really pretty simple. You know. He made me warm. Yeah. I took the tape off to check, and then the, there it does have a focus. It goes in the back there. I don't know if I can get any closer to show you this thing. It looks like some of the connection. Well, that's just the uh, coil there, but um, that makes the electrons go straight because we don't have anything else that they won't go through. We have to use a magnetic field to direct them. Let me see if I can get a close up on the tube here. CRT. How oh, those guys made that, I don't know, man. But it's probably 20 years old and it's, it still works great. I finally got this thing running and it, it didn't take that long. I just. It was kind of washed out pretty bad. There's not much black in there. I wonder. It's probably not running on enough voltage. I, I can't remember if those what what camcorder batteries use. Don't know. But anyway, y'all thought you might like it. If you, see, if you got any suggestions on voltage or whatever, let me know. Take them easy. That's the tiny CRT there. <laughs>